welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, and I'm happy to have you here. If you're a new person watching, please subscribe. And if you're returning, happy to have you back. So today, I'm going to do just kind of like an unboxing, very, very short review-ish type of video on a Noriko wig called Shiloh. And it is in my favorite Noriko color, which is Mocha Highlight, which you can't really get on a whole lot of wigs. I don't know why. So, yeah, it's like one of my favorite colors. But let me grab the wig and I'll show it to you. Okay, we are back. This is Miss Shiloh in Mocha Highlight. Hopefully you can see the tag. It is Shiloh Mocha Highlight. Um, I've had a Shiloh before in Creamy Toffee, and I did like that wig. I've actually had two Shilohs. I bought a Shiloh used off of a lady in this color, and she actually kind of already had it styled, which was great because it looked freaking perfect on me. This one needs a little bit of styling to her, um, but we are going to check her out. I will leave her specs right here on the screen if you want to screenshot it. And um, so this is what the color Mocha Highlight looks like. I absolutely love this shade. It is. Uh, a rooted shade, but it's a very light root and it's blended very close to the root. So you don't have like a long root. As you can see, it's very, very blended into the top. So you don't have like mu like a long root. It is a darker root, but it's not very long. And it's this beautiful like creamy blonde shade with uh, like, it is kind of golden, but not really. It's almost like a blonde, like a blonde brown kind of, but it's very beautiful. I almost can't explain this color. I, I love this color. I can't even tell you how much I love this color. It's probably one of my favorites. I actually have an Angelica in this, which I'm going to show as well. But this wig has a full mono top, and it looks like a double mono top. If it is, I will, I will let you know that, but it looks to me like it is. And it's got this silicone strip here. Now, there's no lace front on this, but you don't really need it, <laughs> to be honest. And it's got bra strap adjusters and the ear tabs. The ear tabs are kind of nice because they have hair that like actually comes out of them. So if you're if it doesn't cover the sides or you don't have anything on the side, it, it almost like kind of covers. It's kind of nice to have that. I don't even know if you can really tell, but there's like hair that comes out of the ear tabs. But it's a beautiful wig. Um, I love this shade. And so let me get my uh, wig grip on, and I will be right back. Um, I, w I actually want to show you guys this wig grip. I got this off Amazon. I usually wear a full wig grip cap, but just for this, I'm just going to wear this wig grip. But I really like this because it doesn't put a whole lot of bulk in the back of your head. I just have my bio hair like bobby pinned up. And then I am going... The you want to make sure you put these on the right way too, um, as far as wig grips. You want to make sure that when you put it on... You want to, when you feel it, like if you run your hands over this wig grip, it'll feel like it's almost catching. You don't want it to feel smooth. Is That's the best way I can describe it. Okay, so there's the wig grip. And let's put this girl on and see what she looks like. Again, I, I do love this color. Shiloh's a really pretty wig, but you kind of have to work with her a little bit, I won't lie. She's not quite a straight-out-of-the-box type of, of gal. But this color is highly underrated. Like, this is one of my favorite Noriko colors. I wish they made every wig in this color, but they don't. It's very hard to find for some reason. And this cap, to me, runs small because it's very tight on me. Okay? Just so you know, it's, it's tight on me. Um, so if you have a big head, I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this wig if you have a big head. Because I'm, my circumference is like 21, 21.75 I believe, and um, it's, it's tight. And I don't even really have the adjusters like pulled tight. But Shiloh is just so pretty. Even, you, like I said, you don't even really need the lace front on this girl. So pretty, and this color is amazing. I absolutely love this color. Now, you could part this any way you wanted. Um, I actually have it on my right side, which is unusual for me. But I love the long swooping bang. I love that about this wig. Now, I'm going to try and just for show. 
kind of try and put, I am not a middle part gal. I can tell you that right now. Like, I do not look good with a middle part. But, just to kind of show you, you could part her in the middle. Now, I would do something with these because... Now, you have a full mono top, so like you can see, this it looks like a scalp there. But being that this isn't a lace front, I, that's why I don't like to part it in the middle, but if you could steam like this into a curtain bang, I think it would look really cute. But I am not a middle part gal. Just not. Just not. And then, I feel she looks better to the right. Like, I think that's probably how she came. So I'm just kind of running with that. <laughs> you know? Like, sometimes I like, if they like to be parted on the on the right when they come out of the box, I kind of run with that because, you know, you don't have to do a lot to them then. But this, the, um, the mono top on this is great. It looks like a, it looks like a scalp. Let me bring my camera up just a little bit. Okay. So that scalp looks really good. Like, you see how you part it anywhere and you can, like, see, like, scalp. But I like to do a long swoopy bang when there's no um, lace front to it because it kind of just hides that a little bit. But this color is really amazing. I wish that Noriko would make other wigs in this color. Um, I didn't even know Angelica came in this color and that's the reason why I bought an Angelica was just to get it in this color. Now I would steam this a little bit out of the way. I think, um, you know, it kind of tends to fall in the face right here, or I would maybe sp spray it into submission, like I always say, like with a little bit of hair, uh, like aesthetic of hairspray, but I think it's really cute, like that's a cute wig, it's a nice lightly layered style, it's very easy to wear, it's very light, but again the cap is a little bit small on this. So if you have like a bigger head, I would not, I would not buy this one. Definitely not. Um, but I don't think you really need the lace front. I think it looks pretty good right there. And I'm just going to run my hands together and kind of see if I can get this hair to stay back. That's one other thing you can do if you don't want to, if you don't have a hot brush, just rub your hands together until they get kind of warm. And then like lay your hand right there and it will help it kind of go where it needs to go. Obviously, steam will do the same thing, probably a little bit better than just using your hand. But I don't feel like you really need the lace front. I really don't. Very cute. Very cute wig. I like that it's straight, you know, me and my straight styles. But yeah, I just need a little bit of work on that bang there, too. Let's... I'll show you the back here. Hopefully it's... Yeah, it's a little jacked up. It needs a little bit of a comb. Comb through. Is that better? So you can see it's like lightly layered back there. It's pretty long. It's a pretty long wig. Hopefully you can see that. But there's a lot of like just lightly layered areas to the wig. You would do, yeah, I would say, like, straight out of the box, you probably need to mess with the front, but so not a big deal. I really like the light layers to it. But again, I'll leave the specs one more time right here for you if you want to screenshot it. And, yeah, there is no perm there's no permatease, but she has an area, like, right here. It's probably about that big of, like, uh, you can tell there's a little bit of permatease in there. But I think it's just so it gives that area, like, a little bit of height. But... No permatease like through here at all, obviously, because in the mono top there's no permatease there. But there's just a little spot, like about that big, right in the back right there, to give it some lift. But I think it looks really cute. What do you guys think? I love this color. I hope it's coming across in my viewfinder. It's a, it is ashy. It's like an ashy brown. Very, very, very light ashy brown. Dark ash blonde almost, like. It's almost, it almost reminds me of a blonde kind of color. You, if you're transitioning from brown to blonde, this would be a perfect wig for you. If, you. if you're transitioning from like a light blonde to a light brown, this would be also be a good color for you. 
again, I love the rooting in this wig because it's blended so far up into there that you almost, it's almost like a, sh a shadow root is almost what I would call it. So I love that about it too. But I just think it's really pretty. It comes like right about to here on me. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's really pretty. Uh, thanks for watching. And I want to let you guys know I did get this from the Beauty Nook with my own money. Um, I love the Beauty Nook. They give me the best prices on any wigs anywhere. We have live sales Friday night. Check them out on Instagram. Check them out on Facebook um, at their Beauty Nook Wig Support Group. I will leave a link to their website down below. And if you decide to order from them, I have a code that you can get 35% off your first order, which is a huge savings in the wig world. On top of their already low prices, so huge savings. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you this wig. I hope you liked it. I like Shiloh. She's a keeper for me. I, I, I really like it because this would be an easy wig to maintain with my hot air brush. So I super love it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you.